so today, oh the window's open, hang on. Hello everyone, so today I am filming a new video. So, I hate saying that because it makes me cringe, but I never know how to start off my videos. So today guys, I am basically doing a video that I should have probably done a few months ago, but I didn't know what to film and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it now for you guys because you all wanted it, so here we go. So today I am doing a Rook piercing experience video. So as you guys know, I do quite a few of these piercing videos now because you guys seem to absolutely love them. Um, so this is my eighth piercing. I think I got it in like October though and obviously it is currently June. <laughs> So yeah, but obviously I can still remember it and stuff. In fact, I think it was like December. I don't know. But yeah, and I've still got my original piercing in it and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to basically talk you through it. So yeah, it is my eighth piercing in case you haven't watched the other videos and you don't already know. I've got my first, my second, my tragus, my cartilage, first, second, um, rook, and my belly done. So... So guys, this is actually, was actually my first piercing that I got um, at a proper piercing place. Well, no, that's a lie, but with a needle. Um, whereas the other places I've, the other earring piercing, blah, 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 the other piercings I've got are all done with a gun, which I know isn't the best thing, but it's less painful. <laughs> so yeah, and I was just, yeah yeah the only other thing I got done with the needle is my belly but yeah that was quite painful because I didn't have any numbing stuff on that but if you want to know more about my belly piercing then make sure you go check out that video which I will link in the description where do I start so in case you don't know what a rook piercing is it is this little bit of um, skin up here I will try and focus it on it whether this is focused or not but it's this little bit here and as you can see I've got like a hoop in it and it has got try and put it at the front it's got a little silver like jewel on it too which is cool yeah I don't know if you guys can see that or not but yeah <laughs> so guys I went to a place in my town that specifically does piercings it wasn't like a tattoo and piercing place or anything like that it was just specifically piercings and I don't know if you could get I think normally when you have your rook done you have the bar going for it instead but I just got the hoop which was really good I remember going after college um, one day because they kind of swap and change like they choose when they're open or when they're not even though they have opening times on the door so one night uh, we were waiting for the bus after college and I was like you know what I'm gonna go see if they're open now and get it done so yeah everyone was like oh my god can I come with you can I come with you so in the end I had like five friends with me I had Hannah, Lauren, um, Ben, Lucy I think that could have been it actually so four people and Lucy actually came in the room with me and like held my hand for support to have it done but yeah, um, so the woman was so nice in there, like she has crazy amounts of piercings and stuff, but yeah, she was really nice. And I did have the numbing spray on it, which was really weird. Um, and yeah, then she marked it out and it was all good. And then she did the needle, she put it in, and yeah, it wasn't that painful at all. Like it was quite hard, like she had to push down quite hard because obviously it's a big bit to get through. So you kind of felt a bit of pressure. But honestly, it was not bad at all. I don't obviously know the full experience because if you're going in and they don't numb it or anything, then I don't know what that feels like. But for me, with the numbing stuff, it was fine. Like, it was so good. It just felt a bit uncomfortable when she was putting the hoop in because obviously she has to proper, like, twist it round and stuff and snap it in place. And she said it was bleeding quite a bit, and it was. Um, it was bleeding quite a lot. <laughs> and I don't think any of my other piercings have bled like that before. I don't think any of them have bled before, in fact. So, yeah, that was a bit weird. But she basically said that the reason that does that is because of the numbing spray, actually. Because the numbing spray is actually like a cold spray. I think it just freezes your ear, really. It's not, I don't know why I keep saying numbing spray. Um, it just freezes it basically so it's numb because it's so cold and she said because it's so cold your body thinks that your ear is basically going to fall off so it does that thing where it like reacts and it's like oh my god quick save the ear so all the blood flow rushes to your ear so when she's obviously putting it in it 
bleeds everywhere. Overall, it was like super simple and stuff and it was really good. Um, and then aftercare, I can't remember how long I had to, how long you have to keep it in there for. I'm pretty sure it's quite a long time. I think it's like, I don't know, I think it could be three months or something like that, but I think fully is like six months. You said just to clean it with saline, water, um, the cleaning stuff which is what I had to do for my belly as well. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> so that was really easy. I just used a cotton bud to go like right around the inside because it's quite hard to kind of get to the actual bit where it's pierced. Um, so I use a cotton bud and then I would literally like hold a cotton pad over like my ear hole <laughs> and then just drench it basically in the saline. Um, and that obviously worked because um, it's healed. It does get a bit crusty every now and again, now and then, like around there, and it will sometimes get stuck, so I have to like get it out to move it. Um, but yeah, I haven't got it changed yet, purely for the reason that you have to go back to the piercer to get it changed, um, or I could get dad at it, or my brother at it with the pliers. <laughs> so you can pull it off because you can't actually pull it apart yourself which is really super annoying but yeah I did google it and that's what that said so yes um, but another reason is because there's not really any piercings that I know like jewellery that I know that you can kind of get that thickness if you get what I mean like I have actually got um, a couple of piercings already because one of them was from my friend Carly at I think it was last Christmas or the Christmas before? Christmas before last. Um, she got me a rook piercing earring, which is really cute. It's like a little gold crescent moon with a little diamond on it. And it is so cute, but it's really thin. And she thought it was originally a um, cartilage one. She didn't read it. So yeah, but I did tell her that I wanted to get my rook done anyway. And then once I got it done, I was like, yes, I can wear it. But actually, it's a lot thinner and I don't want it to get infected because I know that's what happened with the cartilage. Like, when I put a thinner one um, piercing in, it, it went a bit funny and it didn't really like it. And then obviously, when you put a thick one in, it then hates you. And then I have another one which I bought for my cartilage again. <laughs> but it's too thick to put in there. And also, it's the wrong way round. So it would only work if you had a cartilage piercing on this side which I didn't really understand but you know um so it would work in this rook but I don't I think it's too thick to fit in there so that is kind of annoying but to be fair guys I do really really like this one this hoop the only thing about it is it's like the dark um metal whereas the other ones are all like the proper like silvery metal so yeah that's the one thing that I don't like about that but yeah so overall guys my experience is really good with the rook piercing. I have heard things that it is really painful. So I would suggest getting the numbing stuff if you are worried about the pain. If you're a hard cookie, then I'm sure you'll be fine. But yeah, um, for me, it was just like a little bit of pressure and that was it. And yeah, it does bleed a lot, so be prepared. It's also really horrible to lay on when you lay on it at night. That is quite painful. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it helped you guys out. Please leave me some comments down below what videos you want to see next as I am running out of ideas and I really want to get some content up for you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that, like below, you know, down there. And click the little bell button to be notified when I upload. So make sure you go check out my social media which will be on the screen now. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all very very soon with a new one. Bye! I like me better when I'm with you